Valerie's Virtual Time. Hello, everyone. Today we are going to do challenge number analyzer. All right. So it says play with the number. Our goal f for this challenge is to write a number analyzer program that displays the number assigned to the to the number. I try to do it fast, so never mind that. Um, uh, and draws the rectangular outline to show whether the number is positive, negative, or zero. I meant the no, the number. The reason why I keep saying it fast. So, so you know it's together, so. Remember that positive numbers are numbers that are larger than zero. Negative numbers are numbers that are smaller than zero. Zero isn't positive and it also isn't negative. The only number that is zero is zero. Zero is zero, got it. All right, right now the outline is drawn around. It's positive to show that 100 is positive because 100 is larger than zero, definitely. But the program is not very smart yet. Oh, it's not very smart. I thought it was smart. <laughs> if we change the number assigned to the number, a number to the number that's not positive, then it's positive. It'll be still outlined. Oh, negative. Read through the code now. Okay, I'm going to change the number. Negative eight. Negative of twenty. There we go. It's not saying it's negative. It's it's supposed to be negative. Come on, computer. Okay, they are definitely right. Our program is not smart yet. Make all the outlines. Right now, there's only an outline for it's positive. To make our program smart, we'll need to be able to outline any of the results. Add a rectangle to outline it's negative, and add another rectangle to outline it's zero. Hmm. Oh, I meant to type rectangle. Rect. Five. Oh. Five. Um. Let's see. A little bit downwards. Oh, it's gonna be more. So then I'm gonna try seventy. So. Yeah. Two hundred forty. Two hundred and forty. Ooh, the T. I wonder why he's humming. There. I do. What's going on here? All right. Let's try 80. Let's try 90. Let's try 100. Let's try... One. Oops. Let's try 200. Let's try... 200 is a little bit big. Oh, oops. Let's try 150. 150. Okay, it's not circling around. It's negative. Gotta make it 100 then. Oh, it's... Mm, uh, do, 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 do. 130. No, one, two... No, 120. Yes, perfect. <laughs> we, uh, we needed to add 50 more. I'm so sorry. We needed to add 50 more. Um, all right, all right, all right. Now the computer is smart about the negative and it's positive. Correct. Five. Uh, 210. 240. Hmm, having trouble finding around it's zero. Check the values. Rick, yeah, 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 I know all right. I know, no, no, I know, I know all right. Oh, bees. All right, let's see. If we want to make it 
Um, no, let's try 180. 160. Oh, 160! Yes! I'm like, okay, let's take away 20. Okay. Make it super smart. Yeah, it's, right now it's just circling a box around everything. Oh, three if statements and move the rect into... Now, now use if statements and the comparison operators you just learned. To control when each outline is drawn, try assigning the number, the number different numbers to make sure your program works. Make sure that the outline around it's positive is only draw when the number is positive. The outline around it's negative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See if your program, and when you sign, okay, so. If all right, identifier. Okay, okay, now we have to put a die. Something doesn't look like with the condition. Uh, it's positive is drawn. It isn't making any comparisons like. <sighs> Newber. Num. Number. Something doesn't look like, but it's positive, it's drawn. Looks like the condition number to equal some value, but that. Mmm, so it's not equal, equal, equal. Something doesn't look like with the condition that you are using to control. What's humming? Both of them try trying to help me and both of them don't like what I'm doing. So what is wrong? It's positive. Checking if the number is small. But that program, that won't help the program if. Okay. Hold on. Let me just put 17 first. Let the orange numbers be there. All right. I'm just going to see. Hint. Seriously, we need to find what's in the if statements. Hmm. So, let's see. So, if... I'm not sure if it's... The, so, we have to put it the number? Like, the... Number, and then we need one of those complicated signs. So which one should we do? Mmm. Equals equals equals. Oh. And up up up. Here we go. Oh. Oh, let's press period. No, uh, actually, no. Something doesn't look right with the condition. Oh, so comparisons like these. So we need like one of these on. We need like one of these signs. So we're going to put that. And then what number? Zero. Oh, 
All right, so now I finally think I got it. So if it's gonna be like 20, negative 20, then, mm, then it's gonna be, no, less than, okay. Less than okay. Never mind. That crocodile's not gonna eat that zero. Go on and eat that number. <laughs> All right. Yay. So we know it's not. Now the computer knows it's not positive. Definitely, because we defined the if, but it doesn't know if it's negative or zero. That's why it keeps putting that box over there. So let's see which one is this. Huh? Okay, it's the negative one, so I'm supposed to put it 200, do, 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 do. 200, all right, so now we're gonna fix if, if, no, it's if. Okay, don't mind oh no's guy. I'm gonna fix him next. Oh, oh, first of all, we're gonna copy, delete. Paste in here, and then, hmm. Now, if it's negative, then the number should be, should be less than zero. Should be. So then, now we're gonna fix the zero, if, the, I meant to put, the number is the same as zero, zero. Okay, I'm just gonna fix that, hold on. I gotta put those brackets. And then put, Copy, paste, delete. Ta-da! <laughs> All right, let's try changing this number now. Whoop, I'm going really slow, so. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh! Oh my gosh, my mouse is going all over the screen. Uh, this is so awesome. How about, oh. Eeny, meeny, why you won't catch it all by stuff. Oh! The computer knows that it's supposed to be one. Anyways. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Hope you like and subscribe and goodbye everyone. Goodbye. Hit that like button and subscribe. Goodbye.